We'll take a look at what's new in flow simulation in SOLIDWORKS 2017. We start with multi-parameter optimization. In this video, we optimize the design of the fire tornado to try and achieve the best design. We can now optimize based on multiple parameters. In this case, the distance of the fans from the heat source, the patterned instances of the fan, and the angle of the fan relative to the heat source. As you can see, the software runs through various iterations until it finds the best possible design based on the parameters we enter. In previous releases, we would have only been able to define a single variable, which means that it would have required three separate optimization studies to achieve the same result. The next enhancement is using flow conditions from a lower level component in a higher level assembly. So imagine we run a flow study on the PCB. We may then want to take that PCB and run a flow study on it when it goes into its enclosure. In previous releases, we'd have had to set up all the flow conditions generated inside the original study in the top level assembly. Now with 2017, we can just choose to reuse those conditions directly in the higher level assembly. All you need to do is choose the option to import from model and that will bring in your flow conditions. The conditions by default will be linked but it is possible to break that link. To summarize, we can now do multi-parameter optimizations. Our transient results have improved. We can reuse conditions from lower level components in higher level assemblies. And we've seen improvements to the mesh settings.